Today we're going to be installing a 20 amp circuit and breaker in a Cutler and Hammer CH panel. Uh, this specific panel, Cutler and Hammer, takes only this style breaker. Uh, this is the only uh, breaker that will actually fit in this panel. They're indicated by the by the tan color on and off. You can see uh, only these breakers will fit in these panels. Other breakers will not, only these. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start uh, by installing uh, a piece of Romax cable. Very important that we put the Romax connector in the box. Very important, do not run the wire or the Romax through the hole. Always run it through the connector, the specific connector that it needs there. And uh, tighten it down. Do not over tighten these screws. It will pinch the wire, therefore the breaker will trip. So just snug, you want it snug where you can't pull it through. No tighter. Once your wire is in and snug in the connector, we want to skin the wire. Be very careful skinning the wire. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to actually hook up our ground. I like to always hook the ground up first. Uh, this right here is what we call our neutral bar. Uh, it's where our neutral and grounds tie together in this specific panel. So just fold your wires up a little. Remember this panel may or may not be energized. So make sure you stay away from these. These are actually hot. This right here is what we call our bus bar inside the panel. If you touch this, it will shock you. Or if you touch those lugs, it will shock you if it's energized. As for your neutral bar, you can touch that. That will not shock you. No voltage is present on your neutral bar. Cut our ground the correct length. Stick it in the hole. We're gonna cut our neutral the same way, which is our white. Stick both of those in there. Pull on them, make sure they're snug and tight. Now we're gonna actually put our breaker in. Uh, always put your breaker in the off position. Flip it a couple times, especially if it's a new breaker. Make sure it's in the off position. Go ahead and loosen your screw there a little bit. This is where your wire is gonna slide in there. And on this style breaker, see the little clip right here? This little clip goes on this little bar right here. This is what holds the breaker in. And this little clip right here clips onto the actual bus bar, which is hot or energized. So what you do is you stick that right on, your, on your, your breaker there, and it clips right in. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna do it on, on lower where it's easier to see. Clip the back of your breaker in first, and just sli slightly push in, and you'll feel it kind of click in there. And your breaker should stay there by itself. If the breaker is in the own position when you fasten it, that means this will be hot and you could possibly get shocked if you touch it. So make sure your breaker is in the off position. Okay, then bring your wire down. Cut it to length. Skin it three-eighths, quarter of an inch no longer than necessary where it doesn't stick out of the breaker. Uh, you don't want your wire sticking out where you can see the wire right here, you know, where you can actually touch it. You want it where your wire is all the, and make sure it goes all the way in the hole. Notice you don't see any of the copper. Tighten your screw. Pull on the wire, make sure she's nice and snug, and then you're ready. You can turn your breaker on and power up your outlet light or whatever you're, you're running. And that's how you install a Cutler & Hammer CH breaker and a Cutler & Hammer CH panel. 